The Google Assistant helps people around the world with all kinds of tasks, whether they are at home or on the go. But we want to build an even more helpful assistant. In order to process speech today, we rely on complex algorithms. It includes multiple machine learning models. One model maps incoming sound bytes into phonetic units. Another one takes and assembles these phonetic units into words. And then a third model predicts the likelihood of these words in a sequence. They are so complex that they require 100 gigabytes of storage and a network connection. Bringing these models to your phone, think of it as putting the power of a Google data center in your pocket. It's an incredibly challenging computer science problem. I'm excited to share we have reached a significant milestone. Further advances in deep learning have allowed us to combine and shrink the 100 gigabyte models down to half a gigabyte, small enough to bring it onto mobile devices. This eliminates network latency and makes the assistant so much faster, so fast, that tapping to use your phone would seem slow. I think this is going to transform the future of the assistant, and I'm thrilled to bring Scott to tell you more about our next generation assistant. Thanks, Sundar. Well, what if we could bring the AI that powers the assistant right onto your phone? What if the assistant was so fast at processing your voice that tapping to operate your phone would almost seem slow? It opens up many new use cases, and we want to show you how fast it is. Now, internally, we've been calling this the next generation assistant. Running on device, it can process and understand requests in real time and deliver the answers up to 10 times faster. Now, Maggie's here, and she's going to help us test it out, starting with some back-to-back -back commands to demonstrate its speed. Now, this demo is hot off the press, so please send your positive energy over in Maggie's direction. Hey, Google. Open calendar. Open calculator. Open photos. Set a timer for 10 minutes. What's the weather today? What about tomorrow? Show me John Legend on Twitter. Get a lift ride to my hotel. Turn the flashlight on. Turn it off. Take a selfie. All right. Now, as you could see, yeah. That was awesome. Meggie was able to open and navigate apps instantly. Now, you might have also noticed that with continued conversation, she was able to make several requests in a row without having to say, hey, Google, each time. Now, beyond an effortless way to operate your phone, you can start to imagine how the assistant fused into the device could orchestrate tasks across apps. Let's look at another demo where Meggie's chatting with a friend. He's going to ask her about a recent trip. Notice how easy it is for her to respond with her voice and even share a photo. Reply, had a great time with my family, and it was so beautiful. Show me my photos from Yellowstone, the ones with animals. Send it to Justin. All right. Yeah. Now, another example is when a friend asks you a question, and you need to look up the information to respond. Justin wanted to know when Maggie's flight arrives. When's my flight? When's my flight? Reply, I should get in around 1 PM. All right, 
So notice how it helped Maggie multitask more easily across different apps, saving her a lot of back and forth. Now you can even imagine this next generation assistant handling more complex speech scenarios, like composing and sending an email. Hey Google, send an email to Jessica. Hi Jessica. I just got back from Yellowstone and completely fell in love with it. Set subject to Yellowstone Adventures. Let me know if next weekend works for dinner so I can tell you all about it. Send it. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. Now, as you could see, this required the assistant to understand when Maggie was dictating part of the message versus when she was asking it to complete an action. Thanks, Maggie. Thanks, Scott. By moving these powerful AI models right onto your phone, we're envisioning a paradigm shift. This next generation assistant will let you instantly operate your phone with your voice, multitask across apps, and complete complex actions, all with nearly zero latency. And actions like turning on the flashlight, opening Gmail, or checking your calendar will even work offline. Now, it's a very hard problem we've been solving, and I'm really excited to share the realization of this vision is not far off. In fact, this next generation assistant is coming to the new Pixel phones later this year. <laughs>